A hero's welcome home. It was nine months ago Pierre Gibbons rushed into a burning house in southeast Baltimore to save his neighbor. And unfortunately, the neighbor didn't survive and Gibbons suffered life-threatening injuries. WJZ is live tonight. Rachel Carden reports Gibbons made a miraculous recovery and tonight he finally returned home. Rachel. That's right, Denise and Rick, everyone was here to welcome home this hometown hero, his family, his friends, the firefighters who were there last that night, as well as the contractor who was still doing some final touches here. There is going to be a wheelchair lift that gets attached to this building, but until then, Pierre Gibbons is home spending time with his family. It's a great day in this Patterson Park neighborhood as a hero is welcomed home. But they told me five to six years to rehabilitate. And here I am, uh, you know, nine months later. Dear Gibbons gets out of the car to cheers, applause, and a loving embrace from an old friend. The last time Dan Sharp and Pierre Gibbons stood on this street, it was the night of September 23rd, and a split second decision forever changed their lives as Gibbons ran into a house engulfed in flames to save his elderly neighbor. There wasn't a whole lot of thought. It was just there was fire and there was somebody there needing help, and I just, my instinct made me go. She didn't survive. Pierre's recovery is still being called a miracle. It was very hard. I didn't, I didn't think he was gonna make it. I mean, I thought for sure he wasn't coming out alive. It's been nine months, countless surgeries, weeks in the burn unit at Johns Hopkins Bayview, months of acute rehab, but step by step, Pierre Gibbons is finally home. We can't wait for him to get back. We've been waiting for a long time. In addition to Pierre's house was just finished as contractors worked around the clock to get him access to the row home on North Rose Street. I thought it's going to be good for him to get a nice place to stay, you know, after he gets out of the hospital. As he sits comfortably back at home just across from the burned remains of his neighbor's house, he says the fight of his life is not over just yet. And my goal is to be walking on my own within those three months and do it within a year. Going home. And the family still says that Pierre will need round the clock care. And of course, they'll evaluate that after a few months. And we will be there to update you on Pierre's progress. We're live in Patterson Park tonight. I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.